Welcome back to the channel guys. So hopefully a few of you have come over from Thank You Crow for getting involved. Um, hopefully a few of you have come over from James's channel. Big crow that. Big crow. Yeah. Can't see it. Big crow. Mince pies are done. Um, we're testing another ball. So we've got today the Tailor Made, which I'll put on screen now, the Tailor Made Soft Select. Really surprised you remembered that. <laughs> Crow's remembered it, says it's a great ball. So it's a ball that you don't see on the Tailor Made website, it's one that James I bought. just couldn't find it anywhere. The idea behind this is that I've never seen one. And for me, obviously, oh. testing golf balls and finding a lot of golf balls as well as losing a lot of golf balls, for me to never have seen one is. He's a bit strange, but... Yeah, so, so far, we're level. Both level on the... Uh, Scorecard. Scorecard, yeah. And uh, we're here on the ninth hole at Fixby. Great James hole James's stomping well. ground, so he might have a chance. We'll just wait for the guys to go down the first, and then we'll get in the mixer. That crow's giving you some jip, mate, I think, up there. Yeah, I know. Soft select. So whilst we wait for these gentlemen, this ball, £17, James? £17, I'll show it you now, actually. Oh, we'll show it us. Oh, matches your top, an absolute dream as well. £17, megavalue.com. Three layers. and Distance, feel, control. And as every ball seems to say these days, distance, feel and control. Yeah. Mm. Uh, you know what, the packaging, to say they've never actually published it anywhere or it's not on their website, nothing, the packaging is actually not bad. quite cool, isn't it? Yeah, not bad, so not a bad ball so far. Um, They're going straight in your bag, aren't they? I'm sh I've shedded a few in the last couple of days. He's non-stop. Colin? Colin the Crow. Not good again, isn't it? Actually, nearly in the middle. Well, enough when it's come out the middle, it's gone higher on you, hasn't it? It has. High riser when it's near the middle. Yeah. Right, Chris, so am I playing cameraman again? So, as always, we'd like to welcome back the cameraman, James Robinson Golf. If you've not seen his channel, go and check it you, out. You know people get paid for that, don't you? Subscribe, like, <laughs> top bloke, good cameraman. All round nice guy, sort All of. All round swell guy. Kind of something like that, anyway. He right. lent me his coffee mug this morning. Big mug, that, innit? We did a bit of review on that mug, actually. Quite ergonomically designed and fits in the car holster absolutely wonderfully. Exactly, what more could you ask for from Would a... you ever need that much coffee? No, but it's probably made in America, not that I'm saying anything about Americans, but everything's bigger in America. <laughs> well, in Texas, isn't it? Right, so I've just missed the um, Gagunga, and uh, Chris has actually done me, so if you've watched... If you have watched over on my channel, I outdrove Chris on every single hole, like every hole. I actually played every shot better than him as well. Whether or not this makes it into video, I don't know. It depends how he edits it, but he's looking at me now, so... I'll play, then I'll bring it over. Right, we've got one eight four playing one seven nine, little six nine, I think. That is thick. Oh. Terrible, terrible. Oh, that's about 20 yard long, mate, that. No, back edge of the green. Back edge. Of course it'd be Power iron. iron. Power irons, these. P770s, the future. New in the bag, or what's Fresh it? Fresh in the bag. Not what we like to see. No. Thought I'd uh, test them out the sand, see what spin we get. Mm hmm A shocker of a lie. Needs loft needs speed and needs accuracy what are the chances hmm. wasn't an easy shot 
Now, got to blame the approach shot. In fact, you got to blame the drive for being in the rough, haven't you? Correct. The drive wasn't cutting the mustard. The second then had no hope. But chip it in. Chip it in for a par. Probably younger. In fact, I'm one under par. We're not level. If you gave us that, um, yeah, probably level actually. Because if you gave us that 20 foot par foot. Well, exactly. You're getting a bit giddy. I'm going lob wedge again, Chris. Lob wedge again. Not the right club, but. See, if it was going in a bit lower, it might have trickled out, mightn't it? Was the wrong club, weren't it? Correct. You're learning. Perseverance. Perseverance. Load of rhubarb. Right, two puts to go one up. Mm, it's a bit of a downhill slide, though. Yeah, it's not one you'd want this, actually. I'm really disappointed with myself for this hole. I feel like I've let myself down a bit. And everyone who's tuned in. Come on, Tangerine. It's actually. Put. Yeah, it's a good put, that. Regulation. Right, Chris, one up or one down? One up, yeah. Five holes or six holes, were we saying? Got to be six, hasn't it? Oof. Otherwise, it's dormy one. I'm not having that. Oh, right, six holes will finish on the par three. Oh, wonderful par three as well. Are you regret regretting bringing that cup now? No, no. It's fitness, isn't it? <laughs> right, uphill par four. Here's one. What would you class this ball as? A distance ball, a budget ball, or? None of the above. Yeah. An in-betweener. Yeah. A, a mid-ranger. Yeah. Of course, it's had good feel off the irons, good feel off the driver, and I'd say it's good off the putter. Yeah, I guess I've enjoyed it with the putter as well. So. If anyone's thinking about testing this ball, by all means, for the price, I can't see, I can't see why they're not pushing it. £1.40 a ball-ish. 17 bit less isn't it? Not, not bad really is it? You don't mind smashing into the trees like you're going to do now do you? Yeah, on the green. Yeah, probably a little bit right. A little bit high again. Yeah. As you've almost warmed up and your swing speed's got a bit higher, it's, yeah, the ball's gone higher hasn't it? As it's got to the middle of the face, it's gone a lot higher. If you aren't. Oh, he's opened it up from there. Oh, we're safe there. So, Chris, I, feel, I always feel like I have to interview you on your channel to get anything out of you. Mm. But, what makes a good golf ball for you? And I'm sure we've said this on pretty much every video we've done on golf balls, but i i honestly think it's purely the feel and then the launch because yeah. they, they all if you strike if you strike a range ball good we proved you can get a bit of spin around the greens with it yeah exactly i think it's very much just what trajectory you like to see if the trajectory ball, trajectory coffee's not kicked in <laughs> um see what trajectory you want to see obviously you want to have something that's good on the eye if you're getting something that you don't like and it's going too high you're never really going to be happy with the ball and then you're going to try and guide it round and as we know as soon as you start to try and guide it it doesn't go well no Plus point, I think I did him with the drive, just. Oh. I'm not sure we caught that low penetrating ball flight on camera, Chris. Under the wind. <laughs> Terrible laugh. Was it? The rough's quite bad, isn't it? Especially when it's juicy and wet. Juicy? Caught me out on the last right. one. Uh, I might be chipping again. 
Or yeah, I think I am as well actually, I think I just got a bit too much. Naughty flag position actually, because you've got to like land it short and run it up. But then if it doesn't stop, it obviously runs through. Yeah, tricky one. Short-sided tip shot. Lovely view though. Whoa. Of the metropolis, that is. Yeah, see I've just gone along. Yours must have taken a, a hard bounce, Chris. Bumps that way, unbelievable. Oh! Run on a bit. Yeah, pick it up. Just got to blame the approach shot, really, aren't you? Certainly am. Five. This is it. Under the cosh. Good book, that. Podcast, John Parkin. John Under the cosh. <laughs> oh, confidently stroked out. Never anywhere else, that. Big fan of that alignment. I don't know what it is, but I do enjoy it. What are we talking? Uh, I might even bushnell it. Oh, I might bushnell it and then just not tell you. Tell me the wrong number, you? Uh, I've never told you the wrong number. That's um, uh, uh, Jose, isn't it? Exactly the same. Wow. That wind's a lot stronger than what you think, isn't it? Mine was bad, but yours just kind of went with the wind. It certainly didn't launch low either. That's one thing which I think I'll put this section in my video as well. Yeah. The wind affects this ball so much. You couldn't yeah. play Lynx golf with this ball, it'd be impossible. No. It would be impossible. Um, but on a nice dry day, that high ball flight, it's. Yeah, could work. It's alright, isn't it? I don't know if I feel like we're getting shorter drives with it. I think so, yeah. Yeah, but whether or not that's the wind again. Well, two. Uh, should we just should we just say it is it is really? They were uh, shockers. They were them, weren't they? Make sure you bleep that out. I'll let you go. I'll let you. Uh, I've actually got quite lucky here again. Guinness. Guinness, fine stuff. Lob wedge. Lob wedge again. I'm just thinking about the run out. You're know, being fast. Hmm. But then you don't want to leave it long do you oh it's run out a little it's bit it's just the wrong club in it wrong club it's again standard procedure let's just hold on let's just let's just prove a point take an argument similar lie similar shot The correct club. I'm getting it. I, I just need to prove it to myself, I think. Well, it could have just cost you, though. Yeah, but it's a learning curve, Chris. It is a learning curve. It's all about education, to be honest. And when you duff and this into the bunker... perseverance. Yeah. When you duff this into the bunker, I'll be alright. That would be some shot. <laughs> Oh, meat left on that bone. Ooh. Expected better from you from there, I'm not going to lie. It did sit very soft. Wrong club. <laughs> right, so at least now I get the chance to pile some pressure on. I just feel like, you know, when I'm on a down slope, I always think I always think I can't leave it short, and I mean, evidently you can. Certainly can. Too much loft, not enough sweep. Eight feet takes it back, pushes it out to the right, never came back. I thought it was going to turn that. I was quite happy with that. Just a misread. Good pace, good roll, wrong line. 
I've been rubbish on your channel. I played alright on mine. Fresh you. Dennis. For the win. He hasn't won in a while. He used to win all the time. Know he's going to be feeling it over this. What raw emotion. Well done. Easy stuff. Tailor made. Soft yeah. select. I've enjoyed it. I think I can see why it's £17. Yeah. Mainly like the shots in the wind and stuff like that, but uh, we'll play. Well played. So far. I think Snell's still leading. Yeah. So, last day, tomorrow is the announcement for this putter. Well, this is actually James's, but the exact same one. Triple track, number 10. Go to the video, comment Odyssey, and you're in with a chance to win. You need to be a subscriber, you need to like the video. But as for that, guys, I will see you tomorrow with the announcement.